Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bumisetti. Today we'll see one of the snowflake real-time scenario or use case. Okay, see this one. So if I pass today's date, needs to get current month and remaining months in a year dynamically and so see this one now. So right now we're in June month. Okay, so when you pass current date, what we need to get June current month as well as remaining month. Suppose we're in August, we should get August month and remaining month. Okay, see, if I pass today's date, needs to get current month and remaining months in a year dynamically and reusability. So dynamically, nothing but what we should pass the parameter. Reusability should go for UDS. Okay, for the point of so see, for this purpose, what we should have knowledge on database, schemas, cities, recursive cities, to care, user defined function, and the data. Okay. If you're able to understand this concept, you can install the requirement easily. And one more update is that what from July 4th, a new batch is going to start. If you want, you can able to reach this number. I can see the same thing in detail. One second. I have logged into Snowflake application or Snowflake Cloud or Snow Site way. Let me create one simple database. So create a database. So DVT training, dev db, it's a development database. So create one schema. So dev schema. Okay, so far good. Okay, so database created, schema created. First, you should know how to get today's date. So see, select current date. Okay, see. So today is what? So 28th June 2025. Okay. Then you should know how to extract month and year. So by using two pair concept. Okay. So, so these are the prerequisite. If you're able to understand, you can able to get. Okay. So see. So young O N Y Y Y. Okay. So what we get? We'll get. So see June 25. So same thing. Now what happens? Suppose if I want to get. Okay. See July. How to get July? So Take that current date. Okay, see how to get by using add months or date add concept. See date add. So see, so I'm adding months one comma current date. See the same thing. See 2025 20, 07 28. Okay, so 2025 20, 06 20, 28. This is current month. This is next month. So make use of two care concept. See, you're getting what? So put here. So see, July 2025. Okay, so this is June 2025. We can write manually like, okay, one comma two like this. Okay, this is static thing. I want to go for reusable. So go for what? Go for user-defined function. So before that, what happened? You should know how to print. Uh, how to print one to two numbers in yes okay so this is we need to work okay, okay so this all the concept we need to link up right now you should know how to get current date how to extract month and year the next one is that what how to print one to twelve numbers okay see so we should go for what concepts is select one id union all select see we should go for ct concept with the ct as bracket bracket open so select id plus one from ct where id less than or equals to 11 okay so select star from ct so you should know first task is to print one to two numbers okay how we are trying to print with the help of ct common table common table expression this is nothing but it's a recursive ct okay so select one id we are using this ct this is nothing but recursive ct so second task is to get print one to two numbers okay so why we are printing one to two numbers because there are 12 months in a year okay for the point so this is so far so next task is that what tell me 12 okay and i want to get current month Tell me how to get current month. See, select them. current current date. Okay, so to care. So these are the things. If okay, we need to club all the things to care. Yeah. So see, 
So now what happens is six. Okay, now simple thing. Copy the same thing. So two L minus two care of this. See. So this is zero six. Okay, six six nothing but what remaining six months we need to print from current date. Current month to six six months I need to print. Okay, so this is the functional. Okay, now copy the same thing one more time. Okay, see here we are getting one to twelve. This is so far good. Okay, but what happened? I want to get from six to yes, like this we need to print it. So then go for a what concept? So before that, let me use okay date add concept. So date add months okay ID comma current. See what exactly we are trying to do to the current. Okay, see so from here up to here, we, we know that what it will print one to two well numbers. Next thing is that what see now I want to add months. Okay, see so 20, 25, 0, 7, 28. So months are getting added. How many months? Okay, see two well months are getting added. So makes of two care concept. So two care of. So see make use of MON. Why, why, why? Okay, now see. Step by step, it's a simple one. Okay, see, now you're getting July, August. So from July to June 26. But what we want, we want current month also. It's simply ID minus one. Okay, to you. So it will give plus one, nothing but what next month? I want to get current month. See, ID minus one. Got the pointer. So, so far, good. So June to May, we are getting. But requirement is that what from June to I want to get up to December. Okay. So for this purpose, what we do to so see, we need to, okay. So minus or subtract the thing. Copy the same logic. Control C. Control V. Now what happened? Add see, two care. Two care of. Okay. So to the current date. Okay, yeah, extract month. So, what the point? Huh? So, see, M -O -M. Okay. copy the same thing, control C. Okay, so far. Okay. Now, see what you're getting. See, so months, so remaining can put remaining. Remaining months, see, remaining months is. Six okay. Now total months is 12. Okay, so 12 minus six we need put so remaining month. So see 11 minus remaining. Month. Okay, see we're getting the pointer. So we need put 11 minus remaining month. So we need instead of 11 put 12. That's it. You got a pointer. So see from June, July, August, September, October. See if you're not able to understand. So first, let me print one to two or numbers. Okay, so with the, so in any name we can give. Okay, as select one ID union all select ID plus one increment the value from C. This is the recursivity concept. So where ID? Okay, what I should put ID less than or equal to two. Select the star from prep. See what happened. Put the semicolon. What is you? Okay, yes. Semicolon. Okay, sorry, not CT, it's a prep. Okay, see, see this. It's not a CT, it's a prep. Okay, so it will you. So one, two. So 13 will see this one the functionality. Okay, 2 or 13 we can able to print. So this is so far. Next task is that what I need to get current date. Okay, see, so let me add. So date add concept. Okay. Months I am trying to add one comma. Okay, not one, ID comma. So this value. Okay. ID comma current date. To the current date, I am trying to add. Add months. 
So 2025. Now add two care cancers. So two care. Extract M O N Y Y Y. Okay, so far good. Okay, see now we're getting so July, August, September. Okay, July. Now what, what happened? I want to get current month. Simply use ID minus one. So see. June rating, but requirement is that what from June to December only we want to get. Okay. Now for this purpose, what I want to extract number. Okay. So to care of, okay, to the current date, MM. Okay. Copy the same thing. So remaining months. Okay. So copy the same thing. Control C, Control V. So, so far. So, remaining months will be so six. Now, what happened? Let me use remaining months from the minus the same thing. Okay. So, see, we are getting so from June to okay, December. Okay, see, so far good. Next thing is that what? Okay, see, now we are getting so June to remain. Okay, see, now I want to go for a dynamic. So, dynamic nothing but what we should go for what? Go for reusability nothing but go for user defined tabular function. Okay, so step by step. Next task is to work on user defined tabular function. See, let me write the syntax. So, create or replace function. So, function. So, one, okay months list okay yep now what happened returns so table val val okay okay you should know this thing okay so that's all now if you know all this thing you can able to understand okay so put the same control c and put here that's it nothing to do okay It is a mismatch between declare again. Okay, so we don't want all things. Okay, so just put the month. Okay, so far. Okay, function has been created. Okay, let me call. How can I call by saying select a statement? Select a star from table and the function. Got it? It's a simple thing. Okay, see, June to July. Now it's a static or dynamic. It's a static because we are hard to code the current demand. Now I want to make it a dynamic. How to make it dynamic? By passing arguments. See, okay. So control V. Now what happens? See, instead of current date, pass a argument name. Okay. So got the pointer. So two days. Two days state. Okay, so so always make sure you're working for a dynamic. Okay, instead of static, go for a dynamic. The function has been created. Now, how to call the function by passing argument? Okay, so today's date is what? 2025. Okay, so 06 28. You see? Say what? Invalid argument types are means. Now, to see what happens, saying SQL compilation, compilation has invalid argument types or function. Now, see, it's a var here. But to see, we are passing what? It's a date. So, simply put, so see, we are passing. Okay, see, we are passing. It's a date we need to pass. Okay, and we need to pass here a date. Sorry, sorry. Here, this is, we are getting var here. But here, what happened? The two days date. So, see, we are expecting what? Okay, date format. But I put string format. Now, make it to data type conversion okay. so june to december 18. suppose we pass okay 08 okay we're getting so suppose if i pass one from january to december okay so this is the way we can able to dynamically we can so first you should know okay first i'll try to explain one more time first you should know what how to get current date how to extract month and year so date add a concept, then CP, recursive CP. How to print one, two, so 12 numbers, okay, dynamically. Okay, next one is that what, 
So next one is that make use of this concept and put inside a user defined function. See, this is a dynamic way. So we are passing the argument. Okay, see, we are, so from this one, what are we getting? So one to 12 numbers with the help of data function. Okay, so this is one of the real time use case. We'll work in a day to day projects. Okay, play the content, subscribe, and share the channel. Thank you for watching.